This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. What was he doing here? Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. He can't even speak. Now, the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, the well behaved, man. Yes, Once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. Either way, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it. Cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. AI that wants to kill everything. And just let me do the same thing and destroy it. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So oh, there! What's an aura doing this far away? goes into the hillside. Use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a Zero Dawn? Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah. 
Aloy does. Then you are a deluded extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out plans to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Known viable biospheres aborted in years 254, 261, 2168. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one! Master Override Arms. To activate, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research, as demanding and time intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right, of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy, thanks to me, Everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Please step inside. Please step inside. 
Please step inside. Are you kidding me? I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some at the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lash's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. before the machine goes down. for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great.
I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. locked but there's some kind of device next to it it looks like this connects to the door but it needs power that did it Man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What? What's above me? What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. This should unlock the door. Once I power it back on. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Oh boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal-like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. 
I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. This console shut down. here. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. <laughs> Don't think my pull caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. Careful. What's in here? There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Dude, how loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the half, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Guy, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told him, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Oh, Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? 
No, I'm cool. Look, I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. And close. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Okay, so much for the flooded maze. I made it. Hold for identity Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let the backup start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, power it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades' backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Water, it looks like it destroyed them. Data lost. All of them. You don't suppose. Gaia, too? Only one way to be sure. Let's hope you haven't damaged it. Yeah, well, now that it's down. I should be able to access that pod. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected us. More like a 
seed from which Gaia's mind could grow if it had subfunctions with which to form a heuristic matrix. So it's useless? I'm afraid so. Without subfunction. Go! Aloy, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. When she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Well, 
Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Not hurting him. You don't know what the hollow is like. I need to get you out of here. Maybe yeah. Bring the whole processor down? <laughs> I gotta use that console to make it drop more. Is that supposed to be a weapon? Yeah! He's too close. I won't make it. I'm not hurting him. <laughs> Come here, so I can watch you suffer. Don't need this. Now I can break the cover. We made the hell of a team. That's not going to help you, girl. All mine. You need a bigger target? Here we go. Come on! Shoot at me! Not that rig! Kill 
letting you have all the fun. What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current. Might be a way under this. <laughs> Might be a way under this. Some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising.
I found. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. The mountains, west of Plainsong. There trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. 
Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods, Buxo. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not a uh that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Huntress.